In his narratives and in his stories Amen In this context we're talking about birth stories Our narratives of birth stories Oftentimes cover miraculous events Surrounding, amen, the birth of extraordinary leaders There are birth stories in the Bible Amen, that shows the birth itself Was that of a divine initiative That's what birth stories do That's why everybody that was born in the Bible Amen, every great leader It seems like God takes the time to uh, great saviors and deliverers God takes the time to tell you Amen there's a story behind their birth uh, Birth stories involve Of the time the opening of closed wombs Of the time birth stories in the Bible Amen in contrast in comparison To the big guys or your just average routine birth Birth stories tell stories of, of those who were born They overcame threats of death and extinction Oh, you're right today. So we see here, if you were to examine the scriptures very closely, there are general patterns, amen, to birth story, general ingredients. All of them may not share the same ingredient, but there's a general pattern. Of the time, birth stories, as opposed to just your average routine birth, amen, birth stories involve a barren woman or a couple desiring a child. A birth story may involve an angel that appears to announce a promised son of the birth stories talking about amen they accompany great extraordinary events then there are birth stories that are surrounded by distress and threats and tragedy oh you're right amen off the time the newborn is threatened and endangered off the time in a birth story there's a supernatural or divine protection coming from God and we find that in the birth stories in the Bible we're gonna visit us some today is that all right come on somebody say a shift is about to take place in my life you you don't even know it come on glory a shift is about to just because we have gathered to honor this great man of God oh come on hallelujah you're not here by accident but you're here on purpose all the time amen glory birth stories you'll find that the one who have undergone the stress or the story behind the one that's being birthed they come amen they're birthed out and they become a hero they become a saint or a savior all the time the birth story one of the general ingredients Faith is often challenged, amen, in a birth story. Uh, but we find in all, uh, they produce, amen, and fulfill great purposes of God. Uh, if we would check the Bible, there are some documented, can I review, uh, some documented birth story, uh, amen. First of all, the first birth story that we have, amen, beyond the begats, uh, the first story that we have, uh, first story we have in the Bible is the story uh, of Abraham and his promised child, Isaac, uh, amen, from the 12th, 12th chapter of Genesis all the way through the 21st chapter of Genesis you find the story of Isaac here we see the background amen a son is given to Abraham and Sarah after their childbearing days oh come on this is going to relate to somebody in a moment because some of you glory you've gotten your little comfort zone and you say come on amen everything is all right my days of productivity are over I don't think so oh come on hallelujah thank you Jesus because amen they didn't give birth to a promised child until their faith was challenged and their child bearing days were over her they married this this is not your average amen woman who can't have a baby in spite of what Panina is telling you Hannah glory amen what's happening on the inside of you there's a narrative about to take place amen God is going to cause you amen to pray beyond your will and begin to pray the will of God could it be you have been waiting so long for a manifestation from God uh, however amen what God is trying to do uh, he's trying to purify you uh, and get your issues out of the way uh, and get your personal longing uh, amen and drive your lust and your desire out uh, amen and put in you his oh, desire uh, amen know. there's a spirit called Panina uh, amen I call it the Panina spirit uh, that want to get all in your emotions and get in your psyche uh, and begin to point to come on uh, after amen you've been saved so long uh, amen how come you're not much further uh, or whatever it may be it may be something in the natural it may be something spiritual it may be something physical or financial all the time here come Panina saying amen how come your dream is not like my dream I 
I've got children, I have babies, uh, and you don't have anything. Uh, well, well, Panina, uh, amen. If I was to look at your life, uh, and amen, and look at my life, uh, I understand, uh, Panina, you're just ordinary. Uh, oh, come on, hallelujah, you have children. Uh, but I'm being set up to birth out a prophet. Uh, any healthy woman can push out a baby, but how many can push out a prophet? I can, uh, you're pregnant, come on here. You're pregnant with ministry. You're pregnant with greatness. Uh, Come on, clap your hands. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Anybody can have some members. Anybody can have a ministry. Anybody can have a business. Anybody can have a talent. I'm not trying to be talented. I want to be anointed. I am a shuckle. Ah, you don't just want to have skill. That's good. But you want to be anointed and appointed and extraordinary. It's all about the earth. So are my thoughts and so are my ways above your ways. That's why the Bible says set your affections on things above and not on these things on the earth. That's why the Bible says seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. That's why the Bible says that when you do the our father's prayer after you give God praise then say that kingdom come thy will be done because it's really not about what this earth and what this world has tried to shove down your throat but you've been called to manifest the higher life you've been called to manifest the kingdom of God and though your life may look ridiculous it may look stupid it is a heavenly life it is a kingdom thing it is an earthly thing History is about to be changed. History. The birth story is the birth story. Your barrenness is a story to not only be a gift to Hannah, but first and foremost, your gift to Israel. Your gift, Amen, to Jehovah, Yahweh Himself. Amen. There's something that you have. There's a promise. There's a ministry. There's an anointing. There's a proclamation over your life that it's not about you, as I said earlier. Amen. But God said, "I'm giving you a birth story." Amen. Your tragedy. Your setback, whatever it is, your travail. Amen. I'm using you and I'm bringing you to go into an element of travail like you've never been before. The Bible says, when Zion travail, she brought forth her child. I'm here to tell the church of the living God. I know the world want to make us look crazy, and the world want to make the church look irrelevant, and want to make the church look like, oh, come on, there against uh, everything that's politically correct uh, say what you want to say uh, but there's the real church uh, of the living God uh, and though we may not be popular and we're not trying uh, to be popular because sometimes we forget uh, that the Bible says uh, that if they hated me uh, they will hate you uh, I want to know why the world uh, loves a second uh, let them attack you uh, let them try to shut you down uh, tell you can't pray in school uh, can't pray here and there I don't, but I'm here to prophesy not just to this house but to the true church of the living God it's just our first story I don't sink or swim perish or survive oh come on hallelujah perplex but we're not forsaken are you hearing me it's just the first story come on you're about to see the greatest move of God coming from the church of the living God you're about to see the greatest healing you're about to see dreams and visions Open up your mouth and clap those anointed hands. You haven't begun to see the greatest books, the greatest CDs, the greatest messages, the greatest empires established by the church. I wish I had somebody to open up your mouth and give God a shabbat praise. Come on, shout. Come on, shout. Come on, shout in here. Shout in here.